let's import a 3D model into our scene. Open Blender. Select everything and delete. Create a new cube. Let's export our cube. The docs recommend using GLTF files. However, directly saving the Blender file allows for quick editing. The Blender format internally converts the model to GLTF first. To import Blend files, go to Editor Settings, then Import, and here you need to put your Blender path to make it work with Blend files. Now you can put your cube into your scene. Let's edit the cube. Go into edit mode. Press 2 to select edges. Press Ctrl B to bevel and scroll to change the number of segments. Save the file. The changes will automatically reflect in the game. I'll make some small changes here. Right-click to enable Shade Smooth. Let's try adding new objects. Add a plane as the floor. And save the file. The floor will now show up in the scene. If you want to make changes to your model, don't use a Make Local. With a Make Local, you can edit your objects but changes won't be reflected the next time you save for Blender. Instead, toggle the Editable Children E property. This will allow you to edit your objects without breaking the link to the imported file. Let's say we used a Make Local. As you can see, the changes are not reflected. The sphere is not in the scene. However, if we toggle the editable children, then the changes are reflected in the game. There are some special configurations which you can do to nodes directly in Blender. Select the floor and add minus call to the name. As you can see, this will automatically create a collision object for the floor. Let's make the sphere a rigid body. Select the sphere. Add minus rigid to its name. Now the sphere is a rigid body. Let's test the scene. Add a camera node. Click here and press E Align Transform with View. This will move the camera to our current view in the editor. The import process allows various node types, for example, lights. If you create a light in Blender, it will automatically show up in your scene. Click on this tab. Here you can change the light color and tune down the power. Let's say 0 0.02. You can also add minus no imp to objects. These objects won't show up in your scene. The light did not get imported. This is the same process as when you go into your imported file and click skip import. Let's look at materials. Select your cube and add a new material.
material in Blender. Press Z, then a material preview. Add a material to your sphere and the floor. The materials are now in your game. You can view the materials in the import dialog of your Blender file. Double click the imported file. Here you can view your scene, meshes, and materials. To export your materials, click on Action. Select the materials you want to export. Now your materials are here. You can edit them how you like and the changes will reflect on your objects.